Okay, let us pray. Our Lord and our Father, we are grateful to you. We are thankful for what you have done. Today is another Sunday, the 13th day of October 2024. We thank you for the gift of life. Many people slept and they never woke up. From last Sunday to yesterday, even this morning, so many people must have died. But you kept us alive because there is a reason why you want us to remain on the earth. Father, we are grateful, we are thankful. Thank you for the food we ate. Thank you for the water we drank. Thank you for wearing our clothes by ourselves. Thank you for being able to do things for ourselves. Many people can do many things for themselves. And for that, Lord God Almighty, we are grateful. Thank you for helping us to live healthily. Thank you because you did not allow us to live like other people. And they fall sick anyhow. You have preserved our lives. You have preserved our health. And for that, we are grateful. Tonight, we are continuing and we pray that your spirit will come heavily among us. Teach us what we need to know. And at the end, let all glory be to your name in the name of Jesus. Today is episode 259. And for this, oh God, we are grateful to you. It's not of him that will it, neither on him that run it. It's only you, Lord, that show it mercy. Thank you for the mercy you have shown us. We are grateful and we are not taking it for granted. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Wow, thank you so very much. Thank you for joining, Ellie. I appreciate that. And sister, former Monica is here. And Kechu Doka for is here. This is Ezekiel, the first to come. I don't know who owns this iPhone 5. If you can speak, is we prefer that you join with your name. Ndile Kopala is here too. So thank you so very much. My name is Mwoli Safevwa for Machuku. And by God's grace, I have a PhD in guidance and counseling from the University of Lagos. That was 13 years ago. That was in 2011. Okay, okay, it's God's grace. Okay, Ngozi, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So tonight, we are going to, uh, we are supposed to have a visitor, um, a guest today, today, but the guest told me that she will be on transit, Mrs. Helen Tonta from Australia. There are things she was supposed to have talked to us about food. Because last week we dealt on food, living and dead food. So because of the contributions she made, one of us from London requested that she come online and explain certain things to us. But during the week, she told me that she will be on transit because now is their morning in, in Australia. So that's why she will be appearing next week, Sunday. So I sincerely welcome you. I thank you so very much. Afoma is my name. I have a PhD, but the law called me to the Ministry of Health and Wellness, and that was in 20, 2017. And in 2018, he gave us some Kufu challenge. It's, uh, interestingly, one person that was on this program last week, he, he chatted me on Thursday and said, no, on Friday, that he did that on Kufu challenge. And he did not even do up to only three days that he did for this. And he was really, really grateful. And he's a, he's a young man. You see, healthy living is, is sweet. When you do it, you, you feel good about yourself. Today, I want to talk to us about cancer and diseases disease prevention food. You know, there are foods you eat, they prevent you from having certain kinds of ailments. There are foods you eat, they will, you, you'll be prone to having those diseases. You know, I tell people cancer is a name. 
but it's a very grievous name. Anytime somebody hears a diagnosis from a doctor that you have cancer, it's a, it, there's a way the person responds. And then um, we can prevent cancer. We can. In this program, I brought a woman that is a cancer survivor. She talked to us, I think last year. She even had a, she wrote a book. So you see people defeated cancer. I don't know whether you have anybody or anybody you know that is going through that. Encourage that person. She can or he can defeat cancer. Cancer is a name. It's just when the system, when the cells begin to go grow abnormally, when they're supposed to die and you know go off, they refuse to die because certain things make them not to die. And this is the core essence of this program. We don't want them to remain because the one the moment they remain, they begin to form into clusters, form into lungs. By the time you know it, they begin to go haywire. So our prayer is that if you always go with what we do here, especially the KNU principle, you will hardly get cancer because they won't even, once your body, your pH, the pH of your body is alkaline, they can't survive there. They will die. Have you not seen um, worm, this worm, at worm? Anytime you put salt on H1, they die. So when cancer comes to your system and your system is alkaline, they will die because it won't be conducive. You know, we, we have talked about disease promoters, things that promote disease. Chief among them is sugar. Sugar. Chief among them is sugar. Another thing is when your the toxins in your body, there are many. Your emotions can also bring you disease. When you don't know how to control, you know, I tell people, you may not have control over what people will say to you or do to you, but you have control over how you respond. You see, life may throw that at you, but it's your responsibility to save it. There is no person on this earth that has two kinds of life, except witches and wizards. Once you die, you are dead. So I tell people, anything you could do to make sure that you are alive and you are living well, you are living well. It's only a, 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 a living, a healthy person that will be praying, Lord, I want to finish my building. Lord, I want to send my children to uh, Canada. Well, Lord, I want to send my, I want my daughter to get married and have children. Lord, this, Lord, I, it's only a healthy person. A sick person has only one prayer point, just one. Oh God, cause me to be well. I tell you, cause me to be well. So the, in this program, we talk about everything and anything that concerns our health. If this program now is about comedy, you see a whole lot of people. Is if it's about a skit, skit making, where people create content and they make money. I'm not saying those things are not good. Though. Uh -uh. That's not what I'm saying. No, me, I'm a lover of good things. It's even better that our people are making money and they are they are getting getting money from Obodo Yibo people. So tonight is our episode 259. And this program, Great Life with Dr. Former, started on the 22nd day of September 2019. Wow. It ran throughout 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and now it's 2024. In the next few days, in the next few months, this month, this year will come to an end. You understand? So there are things, there is something I saw on the internet. It said, be grateful for things money can't buy. There are things money can buy for you. Money can buy these eyeglasses. Money can buy phone, iPhone 16. I think. Is iPhone 16 that is the newest one. Go, go, Chris. What is it? 15 or 16? There's. I, I'm using uh, MTN 5G. I can buy it. I'm using MacBook Air laptop. I can buy it. I can buy the light. I can buy AC. I can buy fan. I can buy pen. 
But there are things you have money can't buy. Number one, money can't buy sleep. Number two, money can't buy peace. Number three, money can't buy joy. No matter how you, you fake it, if you are not joyful, you are not joyful. And there are money can't buy good friends because you may be saying, let me be giving the person money so that she will love me. The more you give the person money, the more the person plans evil against you. So you see, there are so many things we take for granted. Good relationship, good relationship. I visited a sister and somebody visited her with big head of plantain like that and banana. I have not seen that woman, but I've helped that woman. I've helped her. So when I was leaving, she said, do I call her? I said, um, okay. She just called her. She didn't know me. I just, she just gave my hug to her. <laughs> so the woman was looking at me. <laughs> I was looking at her. My friend said, this is the person that roofed your house for you. The woman immediately fell on her knee and grabbed me. And grab my legs. You see, I didn't know her before I extended hand of help to her because she needed help. That's the joy I had doing that. Money can buy it. Money can buy it. So anytime you sit in your place to give something to somebody that you know cannot repay you, I've not seen that woman. I did this thing, is it not two years ago? But I just saw the woman today for the first time. She was just looking at me. I don't know what will be going on in her mind. So you see, there are things money can buy. And these are things that will give you peace of mind. These are things that will make you healthy. If you go to Psalm 41, go and read it, one to three. Many people don't know why other people are thriving. Me, myself, my husband, my wife, my children, it is the lowest form of existence. If you have not come to a point where you help somebody, especially who you know will not even help you back, that's the highest form. If you see how she just said, because I was just looking at her, she looked at her and said, this is the person that roofed your house. The woman knelt down. I said, get up. And I, was drag I was dragging her up. She knelt down. I was holding my leg like this. I was just laughing. You see? Little thing I did for her, she was this grateful. What of the life God gave us? Many of us are complainers. Every time, complain, complain, complain. This one, that one, this one, that one. Yeah, yeah. Do you take time to thank God? Just pray prayer without asking God for anything. Father, I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for good health. I thank you that no part of my body is aching. I thank you that I have people I can call friends. I thank you because many people that are enemies around me, by your own design, you eliminated them and you are still eliminating. These are things money cannot buy. So I want us to be grateful. These are things that will not make cancer to come to your body. Cancer will never come near you because your body is always on a positive Frequency, alkaline frequency. You eat well, you make sure you sleep well, and then you take life easy. If I tell you things are difficult, for the first time in my life, I bought fuel 1,015 naira yesterday. Because a guy came where we were doing exercise. I said, Doki, do you know anywhere they are selling fuel? I said, is, is that fuel scarcity? The man said, you don't know. I said, go to MRS. He said, they don't have fuel. That is heading to Italy. So when I was driving, I just saw a filling station. Few cars. I drove in only for me to look at the, the pump. 1,015. I had no option. I have I have tank, but I still need to. I always put full tank. I still need it. So when I was just driving out, you know what was coming to my mind? These people that are drivers, these people that if they don't drive, they can bring money in. These people that run businesses, maybe doctors, people that have supermarkets, they, they must need lights constantly to do what they are doing. How do they fare? I just raised my hand in, in one hand. I was driving, I said, Father, I thank you. 
I thank you. Thank God. If you are thanking God regularly, disease will not have any, any part in your body because it can't stay. It can't stay. But if you are complaining, if you are complaining, your body will be prone to overseedity. Overseedity. Every little thing, you are down. Every little thing, you are down. Please, let us change. Now, I want to know whether everybody can hear me. Please, if you can hear me clearly, type one on the chat. I want to get feedback. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So today, last week we talked about food, healthy foods and living food. One of the things we said about living food is that they are robust. They are living. You see, when you cut them, you see them bleed. Mm -hmm. Like vegetables, fruits, grains, seeds, and nuts, they exist in a raw or close to raw state. Anything we cook on fire is no more a living something. Now, we are talking about cancer and disease prevention food. Cancer prevention diet, number one. If anybody you know is having challenge with this disease, one of the first thing the person needs to do is to focus on plant-based foods. Plant-based. Anything that grows on plants, not things they manufacture in plants. They are two different things. Things that grow on plants and then things they manufacture in plants. Plants have less fat. They have more fiber and more cancer-fighting nutrients. These three elements work together to support our immune system and help your body fight off cancer. The best diet for preventing or fighting cancer is a predominantly plant-based diet that includes a variety of vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. A plant-based diet means eating mostly foods that came from plants, vegetables, fruits, nuts, grains, and beans. The less processed these foods are, the less they've been cooked, peeled, mixed with other ingredients, striped of their nutrients, or otherwise altered from the way they came out of the ground, the better. Once you, okay, let me give us something. Something happened. And my daughter's friend visited her. And my daughter looked at her friend and saw that she trimmed down tremendously. And she, you know, she inquired, are you okay? Is there any, every, anything wrong? Everything okay? The young lady said, yes, I'm okay. He said, why are you slim, very slim, man? He said, ah, we have issue of high, high cholesterol in our family. And when I visited the hospital, I had some challenge. You know, high cholesterol can make you to slump. It can make you to slump, tell you the truth. So she said she had one challenge. She visited the hospital and the hospital, the doctor told her, see, 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 see. So she began to pay attention. When she was telling her about those things, my daughter told her, There's, my mother does this kind of thing. You know? It's just that I, 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 I'm feeling I will have to do a whole lot. So my daughter told her, go to my mommy's YouTube page, look for the video how to um, overcome high blood pressure naturally, what my cardiologist told me. So when the lady went and listened to the video, he said, this is exactly what I'm telling you now. My, my daughter said, eh. He said, that's exactly, because once you change your lifestyle and your diet, believe you me, diseases will run away from you. So she took her to a particular grocery shop where she, she shops. She took her, she said, you see this room, don't touch. You see this room, anything here, don't touch. You see this one, anything here, don't touch. You see this one, here, you are free to take. So when this girl was counting, my daughter, if you see the excitement she used to tell me, <laughs> it is what I've been preaching here. 
Now, she will do portion control, cut her plate into four. She will put carbohydrate one. She will put protein one. <laughs> the other one will be vegetable. I will be laughing. You see, when you don't, when the value of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. So what we are doing here, many of us just come. I just want. To, I just like this this of that former's fine face. Let me come and see it again. Oh, she gives me encouragement. Let me come. But the core as aspect of the core essence of what we are doing is that you be healthy. Is that you be healthy, healthy in your mind, healthy in your mental, a mental your your mental capacity. I be your mental faculty is healthy. People don't just knock you off. You hear small gossip. They say they say. You won't sleep again. You carry food, calling everybody. Did you hear what they say? I, I did. Are you aware that they say by the time it, people that don't even know, you expose yourself to them for, for nothing's sake. You see, one thing you have to know, if you are not important, people don't talk about you. People don't talk about you. Mad people, mad people in your community, how many people talk about them? But look at people that do things. They talk about them now. They talk about Obi Kubana now. He, he's doing something. They talk about Pastor Jerry Eze now. They talk about Bishop Oedepo now. Uh -uh. When they talk about you, you have to even be grateful to God that you are, you are important. You can't be the focus if you are not important. You can't be on top. You can't be a topic if you are not on top. So I tell people, when people talk about me, they should. And why not? I am somebody. I'm somebody. When I pass like this, they will talk about me. Either my movement or my dress or this my low coat. They must talk about me. Or my clean car. They know I drive clean car. I don't drive dirty car. So they must talk about me. So what, what, why are you surprised they're talking about you? These are things you need to make sure you put your heart your heart and your 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 body in a state of equilibrium once you put your body on balance you are good to go a young lady from my place titi titi she, she got pregnant when we had parents so it was as if the world will collapse 22 she said yes that she wants to marry the man. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do, but I'm I'm just using it. So everybody was, and she was really met. She was really medicine. Hey, I said so. This is how this this vision will just go now. To tell you the truth, last week that girl graduated. She's a mother. She's not seen a child. That baby is up maybe one or going to two years, and she made it. Most of the people in that department they couldn't succeed they will go back but she made it so you see it was tough then for maybe her parents explaining explaining uh -huh, with all the church 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 people there are things you can control she's pregnant she's pregnant some people will say because of shame they'll go to do abortion the person that kept the pregnancy now would be a bad person so i tell people don't don't always judge people quickly. You don't know their story. You don't know where they are coming from. Last week, that girl graduated UNA, UNEC, as a medical doctor. Her joy was over, 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 over was over the board. The mother was so grateful to God because finally, finally, she became a doctor. So you see. Things may happen to you that you did not plan. Don't die there. I beg you. Now, let's go ahead. There are many ways to add plant-based foods to your diet. A nice visual reminder is to aim for a, a plate of food that is filled at least two thirds with whole grains, vegetables, beans, or fruits, fish, or meat to take up. No, not more than one third of the plate. Keep in mind that you don't need to go completely vegetarian 
I'm not telling you don't eat food, don't eat meat, don't eat egg, but make sure that there is a balance because the whole body needs the six classes of food. You need carbohydrates, you need protein, you need vitamins, you need mineral, you need oil, and you need water. If you go, if you do no oil food, by the time you know what it will cost in your body, you say, see me, see what I love. So you see, everything has to be balanced. In well, in, in, in health and wellness, the, 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 the catch is on balance. Balance. Once it is balanced, you are, you are ready to go. Now, keep in mind that you don't need to go completely vegetarian. Vegetarian, there are people that they don't eat anything, anything from animal. All their food must be from plants. Instead, focus on adding whole, whole which are foods close to their original form. There are foods close to the original form. Just as important, try to minimize or reduce the amount of processed foods you eat. Eat an apple instead of drinking a glass of apple juice, for example, or enjoy a bowl of oatmeal with raisins instead of oatmeal raisin cookies. You know, when you are flying, when you are in the, on, on the flight, they usually come around, those uh, stewards, they will, they will ask you, the, your drink, some people will say apple juice, uh, orange juice, this juice, all those juices. They are not, not they are not at their natural state. So what I usually do, I say water. I, I would rather take water. But I'm not telling you that you will be me. Anything that works for you is okay. I, I, everybody's makeup, they are, they are not the same. So don't follow me. Because I do this. I, for example, I hardly eat goat meat. Is it good? Not goat meat. What's the other? Cow meat. I'm not saying that eating cow meat, you can't eat cow meat once in a while. Or you can eat goat meat. Or you can even eat egg. But don't, you know, those, our, like my father-in-law, when he wants to eat eba, the meat in the soup must be ate. I don't know why he should be it. He will just use his finger like this. Count it must be eight. I tell you the truth. If it's not eight, you will call my mother in law. He, he will it will be eight. But may, maybe before he finishes, he may leave three for people around. He will say, Oh, yeah, come and take, come and take, but it must be eight. You understand? But as they what they did then and what is, is happening now, it's not the same. Some people will tell you, eh, I want to go back to the, to the, the, then they don't have internet. They don't have phone. So many gadgets, so many radiation going up and down. In the village, when you go to the village, you sleep, je, je, je. some don't even have TV. If they have TVs, JVC, this one that is in a box. They will just put it like this. Now TV, TV can run for 24 hours, seven days a week, 31 days a month. Every day the TV is on. So these are things that destroy what we are doing. And then the food. I remember anytime we want to cook yam, we go to the back of the house, get vegetable, cook yam. We get vegetables from our compound. If we are cooking maybe um, green, green, maybe with a hair and obaka, and you are entering our compound, from the compound you can smell the food we are cooking but now fertilizer with what is happening around i hope you people are hearing how they are trying to eliminate farmers with this correct seedlings and they are introducing gmos have you not taken your time to find out why are children coming down with cancer things that they, 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 you won't hear it's because of what we eat that's why you have to be careful of what goes inside your mouth. What goes inside your mouth has two capacities, to kill you or to make you alive. If you are getting value from my conversation tonight, can you please indicate by typing a 222 on the chat box. My name is Small Lisa Favre, a former Chukun, and by God's grace, I have a PhD in guidance and counseling from the University of Lagos in the year 2011.
And in 2017, the Lord called me to the Ministry of Health and Wellness. And I began this program on the 22nd day of September, 2019. Today is our episode 259. 259 to show you that I've been consistent. Whether I'm, I feel like it or not, I've been consistent. You know, if nobody will say, well done, Ducky, I will tell myself, well done, because I have been consistent. And anytime I hear people say, ah, thank God, I don't, I'm no more coming down with uh, the um, um, malaria. I'm no more having that um, typhoid. I am so grateful to God because they know what they choose, what they eat. When they go to occasion, they don't just become anyhow, any, anybody, you eat the eba with your phone, you eat semo with this, you eat your faku, you eat the enkobi, you eat everything. You, they may decide to eat one thing. When they finish and they are not okay, after some time, you call for another plate. It's not a crime. The crime there is that you eat this, eat this, eat this, eat so there is kata, kata, kata of what you have eaten and your stomach is not okay. Now, let's go. Simple tips to getting more plant-based foods in your diet. Just simple tips. Breakfast, add fruit and a few seeds or nuts to your whole grain breakfast cereal. You can make your cereal by yourself. It must not be the one made by Cadbury. There's what they call Tom Brown, a combination of local cereals. You can, there are people that make it. You can even make yourself. That's for breakfast. For lunch, eat a salad filled with your favorite beans or peas or other combos of veggies. Always order lettuce and tomatoes plus any other veggies if you can. I was talking with my friend when I was showing her what my daughter posted. She said, ah, I love lettuce. You see, lettuce, any food that you can eat without cooking is very, very good. So always, if you're a man or you have a brother or a husband, make sure that as they're advancing, as they are getting to fort, make sure their foods must contain to a very large extent um, um, onions and tomatoes to preserve their prostate health. Please, it's very important. Then you can do a snack, fresh, fresh food, fresh fruit and veggies. Grab an apple or banana on your way out door. Raw vegetables such as carrots, celery, cucumbers, peppers. They are great with a low fat dip such as keep trail mix with nuts, seeds and a little dried fruit on hand. One of the things I will tell us to get if you can is a um, dehydrator. I missed one dehydrator but a friend of mine said she's bringing the hydrator. So I already told her I will, I'm taking that. You know what the hydrator will do for you? If you have, when there is a fruit are in season or even veggies, you can dehydrate them. You use them as snacks. If you dehydrate them, put them in a container, airtight container, you just use them, you snack with them. Or you can just do pulp. You know, when so many people, when they do pulp, they don't sieve it. If you do pap, don't sieve it and throw that. The ones you are throwing to, to the dustbin is the main thing. That's the fiber. The ones you are leaving, when you throw that one, it just starch, just cut. So if you do pap, just tell them to grind it very, very well. They grind it very well. You can make the pap like that without soap. You can put these fruits there and you have, you know, when you, and one of the ways you know that you've eaten right, you have feeling. It, you, you, you'll be full. But if you eat junk, by the time you know it, you start getting hungry. That's when you know that you are not eating the right thing. Then for dinner, add fresh or frozen veggies to your favorite pasta sauce or rice, rice dish. Top a baked potato with broccoli or yogurt. Yogurt was... I was so... I was craving for it yesterday. I told them, go and get me a parfait. They went. I took that perfect. We have oats there. We have um, apples there. We have um, bread there. What else? Small, small nuts inside. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I that was what I, I, I ate as dinner last night. And I was okay. 
So once in a while, you can take distance. Then for dessert, choose fruit instead of a richer dessert or a single square of dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is good. The only thing is that it's expensive. It's expensive, but it's very, very good. Buy organic or local produce, if possible. Some pesticides found in commercially grown produce are, all, are also carcinogenous. Organic foods are free of these pesticides. And locally grown produce is less likely to be treated with chemicals to prevent spoilage. Anytime you buy anything and keep, and that thing refuses to spoil, that thing is not, it's not organic. It must spoil after some days. I got uh, oranges. I gave my friend some oranges. She licked it. She said, these oranges are so sweet. I said, really? He said, didn't you uh, recognize? I said, I bought it from the woman I usually buy things from. What I know. By the time I came out yesterday, one has spoiled. Even the tangerine, you know, is it tangerine? They call it tangerine. Tangel, this small, small, in the citrus family is out now, although it's expensive. But always, always make sure you get distance. They are good even for your skin. Another benefit of eating plant-based food is that it will also increase your fiber intake. When you finish licking orange, please don't squeeze it and throw it out. If you cut it, if you cut out the back, make sure when you finish, you lick it. You, you take the, the, the rough edges inside. Take it. In the morning, you go to the toilet and you'll be good. Fiber, also called rough edges or bulk, is the part of plants, grains, that your body can't digest. They can't digest it. So what they do, they help to make, it's like they are like broom. They will sweep the color. When you go to the toilet, they, 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 your, your, your stool comes big. It becomes bulky and it is soft. You know, your stool has a whole lot. When your stool is without water, it means that you are constipated. But once your stool is easy and bulky and then it floats on the water, then you know you have eaten, you are eating well. Fiber plays a key role in getting your digestive system clean and healthy. They, they act as broom. They, they sweep out nyama nyama from your colon and your digestive system. It helps food moving through your digestive tracts and it also moves cancer causing components out before they cause harm. So before they begin to form into that cluster, shan, takes them away. Fiber is in fruits, in vegetables, and whole grains. In general, the more natural and unprocessed the food, the higher in the fiber content. There is no fiber in meat, dairy, sugar, or white foods like white bread, white rice, and pastries. So they, they don't have fiber. The fibers are mostly found in fruits, vegetables, and grains. Finally, simple ways to add more fiber to your diet. You know, we say we'll be doing this program, we'll be shortening it, you see me checking the time. Simple ways to add more fiber to your diet. Use brown rice instead of white rice. Somebody told me to stop eating abakaliki rice and go to father rice. That of father, you see, if you check of father rice, you see part of the body is brown, but that's not, the, we have brown rice. You can do brown rice. It's, it's, it has more fiber. Because what they do in the white rice, they, they stripe the, white, the, the, the rice of all the fiber. That's why it's that white. And that's why it's that smooth. So use white brown rice instead of white rice. Substitute whole grain bread for white bread. Whole grain bread, you can use oats to make bread. So many things. You can use um, coconuts to make bread. You can use uh, tiger nuts, roughages to make bread. So many things you can use to make bread. Snack on popcorn instead of potato chip. If, even that popcorn, we ensure that it's not laden with oil nor margarine. Mm -hmm. But see these potato chips they are selling on the road. Stop eating it. The po is poisonous. I tell you the truth. Eat, eat fresh fruit such as pear. You see, avocado pear is very good. You see, even ibo pear is very good. Then banana is wonderful. Somebody told me she had seen that her BP was going up. The first question I asked her, 
how well do you sleep? She just looked at me. She said, doctor, I am not sleeping. I said, in the night, what do you used to do? She said, her eyes will be open like this. She will go, she will go and be watching TV. I said, that's why your BP is sore. One of the things the cardiologist told me is that I must always rest. Anytime your BP is up, find time to rest, shut down your phone. Once you rest, the BP will come down. So you eat fresh food such as pear, banana. So I told her before she goes to bed, let her take two fingers of banana, maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Banana will make you to sleep. Banana contains potassium. Banana will make you to sleep. Or an apple with the skin. Then have a baked potato, including the skin, instead of mashed potato. Enjoy fresh carrots, celery, or bell peppers instead of chips. And a sour cream tea. Use beans instead of ground meat in chili. Then run away from burgers. High fiber fighting foods, whole grain, whole wheat pasta. Some people don't tolerate wheat because of the gluten in it. So if there's gluten in the meat, please, uh, in the wheat, if it doesn't sit well with your system, you know when you, you eat something, listen to your body. Your body will tell you whether what you eat is okay. You know whether what you eat is okay. Then fruits, raspberries, apples, pears, strawberries, banana, blackberries, blueberries are good for the eyes, very good, and for the brain. Then mangoes, apricots, citrus fruits, citrus fruits like tangerine, grape, orange, dry fruit, rums, raisins. Then legumes, lentils, black beans, that's the black, the white beans with the black eye. Then other beans, kidney beans. Nev uh, navy beans, then vegetable, broccoli, spinach, dark leafy green vegetable, peas, corn, carrots, tomatoes, brussels, sprouts, and potatoes. Potatoes are good, especially sweet potato. Sweet potato is very, very good. It, they have good fiber. If you eat sweet potato, it will make you to go to the toilet very well. Mm -hmm. Cancer prevention diet tip, cut down on meat. Cut down on meat. Okay, these ones are many. So we can stop here. Maybe next time we we'll finish it. Cut down on meat. Vegetarians are about 50% less likely to develop cancer than those who eat meat. So what's the link between meat and cancer risk? First, meat lacks fiber and other nutrients that are shown to have cancer protective properties. What it does have in abundance, however, is fat often very high levels of saturated fats. High fat diets have been linked to higher rates of cancer and saturated fat is particularly dangerous. Finally, depending on how it is prepared, meat can develop carcinogenic compounds. One of the things you stop doing is to stop eating with seasonings. I have seen it, I'm, I've said it here over and over. That lady said when she went to the hospital, that the doctor told her to stop using salt and then stop using those seasonings to cook. She said she was, she was surprised. She has not heard it before, but nobody here will say you have not heard it. The cardiologist told me to stop using seasonings to cook and I've not been using it to cook and I'm okay. So I know that you got value from what we shared this night. We will continue it. Even if we have a guest next week, I will finish this cancer and disease prevention food because I found out that there is, is many. It's not something we can just rush, but this is just the starting. So we have come to the end of our program today. The program is Great Life with Dr. Poman. Great Life is every Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Dr. Afoma is reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. Dr. Afoma is not a medical doctor. I have a PhD in guidance and counseling with psychology from the University of Lagos 13 years ago. I was called to the Ministry of Health and Wellness, and that's why I talk about health and wellness. And by God's grace, he gave us some Kufu challenge, which we finished last Sunday. And we had, we welcomed somebody to the group. So thank you so very much. If you got value, you can write 777 or you write value. God bless you. God honor you. It is my desire and my prayer that 
Thanks for updating me again. <laughs> Hello, see. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so you see, make sure that you enjoy your life. Oh, Dr. Mbai is here. Oh, thank you, Doc. Thank you so very much. God bless you. God honor you. See you next Sunday by God's grace. I remain, well, it's a favor for my children. This is our episode 259. Next week will be our episode 260. You can go to my YouTube channel and look at other videos that will help you. Thank you and God bless you. And do have a fantastic night rest. Bye.